Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I got this video about Quiet Borderline Personality Disorder, which is uh, one of the most popular ones on my channel, and people are kind of complaining about the music being too loud and not being able to hear what I'm talking about. So, I decided to reshoot this video since I deleted the original first one. So here it goes, and without further ado, let's start. So, quiet or high-functioning borderline personality disorder uh, is very different on the outside from the regular or normal borderline, which is aggressive and loud and uh, a lot like the people who have it abuse drugs and alcohol and you can basically almost always tell by the person that they have borderline. Um, so they are in a way lucky because they project their emotions on the outside and so they don't have uh, problems expressing their anger and sadness and stuff like that. So uh, basically they have this intense emotions uh, like boiling inside them but they sort of get rid of them by you know like just projecting them to the outside world and the people who have a uh, quiet borderline personality disorder they have the same range of emotions they struggle exactly the same as the people who have the loud borderline but they don't really show it so they can be pretty high functioning and so they can have like a normal job and they will never express their feelings outwardly and no one except for their closest people can actually even understand what they're going through because they are really really good at pretending that everything is fine but still they can for example self-harm in secret or drink in secret or you know um, have suicidal ideations and unfortunately people with borderline personality disorder uh, have a 10% rate of suicide and people with quiet borderline uh, are even more likely to commit suicide because they often get no diagnosis, no treatment because everybody thinks that they're just fine because they do not act crazy uh, or you know they do not really express how they are feeling to the outside uh, so as I said it is way harder to uh, diagnose and so this people I mean us because I basically have it um, these people do not really get help as much as uh, other forms of borderline personality disorder and this leads to uh, you know like very strong feelings of depression and anxiety and feeling empty and undeserving and isolated all the time because usually we understand that something is not right, that other people are not having the same feelings as we do and that, you know, like something is wrong with us and it actually even contributes even more to depression and feelings of being undeserving of love and uh like not having any sense of self because we are trying to copy other people in their normal behaviors in order to pretend to be normal and this i think is very very sad because people do not really see what's happening inside and they don't understand that we struggle as much as uh, any other person with borderline um i think that uh, this kind of insecurity about our feelings and not having enough validation for them and, you know, just like not knowing what is wrong because uh, we don't fit every criteria of borderline personality disorder uh, leads to us wearing a mask most of the time. So we are pretending to be someone that we are not and we don't have like this angry outburst so we turn it in which results into depression, um, we depersonalize a lot, we can be misunderstood even by professionals who are experienced in treating borderline patients because it is not a big uh, portion of people who have quiet borderline, but they really need help and they rarely get it. Um, 
So another thing that I wanted to mention is an extreme fear of abandonment. So because we feel like we do not deserve anything good, we kind of always expect for other people to abandon us or to just forget about us. And since we don't want to show it, at least in my case, I would rather die than to show that I can depend on someone. Um, it was like extremely big, extremely strong and extremely hidden. Yeah, so I think that basically it was all that I wanted to say. Uh, if you have any questions, I would be really happy to answer them. And thank you very, very much for watching this video, guys. I love you so much and be a nice human. Goodbye.